and it could happen at any moment. I mean, this is the thing. I often stand outside in my yard in the wintertime. I look up at Orion and I see Beetlejuice, and I'm like, explode! Scientists have just made the shocking discovery that Beetlejuice may explode at any moment in a massive fireball that will light up the night sky. But is the Earth safe from this imminent explosion, or could we be heading towards total annihilation? Let's find out. Betelgeuse is a massive star in the last stages of its life. It's fascinating to both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers. The star is remarkable not only for its size and brightness, but also because it's part of the Orion constellation, visible in the winter sky in the northern hemisphere. What makes Betelgeuse even more interesting is its activity. It's creating heavier elements in its core which could be used by future stars. That amount of energy is roughly equivalent to about 100 billion atomic bombs per second. This has led NASA to affectionately call it a workaholic. But there's more. Betelgeuse is also known for its variability. It can change in size, ranging from 550 to 920 times the diameter of our sun. Scientists have been keeping a close eye on Betelgeuse, because they believe it will collide with a vast cloud of interstellar dust in a few thousand years. Ancient astronomers could easily see Betelgeuse because it's big and relatively close to Earth, about 600 light years away. It varies in brightness, reaching its peak at 0.4 and going below 1.2. In the night sky, it's the 12th brightest star. The name Betelgeuse likely comes from Arabic words but it had different names in Sanskrit, traditional Chinese, and Hawaiian. Predicting when Betelgeuse will become a supernova is tricky. It depends on precise calculations of its mass and understanding what's happening inside the star. Telescopes have observed it losing mass since 1993, and its size decreased by 15% over 15 years. A significant change in a short time. All these signs suggest that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. A supernova is a massive explosion that occurs when a star reaches the end of its life. This explosion is incredibly bright, sometimes even outshining entire galaxies, and releases more energy than our Sun does throughout its entire lifetime. Supernovae are crucial because they create heavy elements, essential building blocks in the universe. NASA describes them as the most significant explosions in space. Interestingly, various ancient civilizations noticed supernovae long before telescopes were invented in the 17th century. The oldest recorded supernova, RCW 86, was observed by Chinese astronomers in AD 185. Another famous one creating the Crab Nebula was spotted by Chinese and Korean astronomers in 1054. Native Americans might have seen it too, as suggested by rock paintings found in Arizona and New Mexico. These early astronomers were even able to see some supernovae during daylight because they were incredibly bright. Supernovae were observed in the years 393, 1006, 1181, 1572, and 1604, before the invention of telescopes. Research from the European Space Agency reveals that, on average, a supernova happens approximately once every 50 years in a galaxy as large as the Milky Way. This is one of the biggest beasts in the galaxy. It's a star also that is on the verge of death. Additionally, the US Department of Energy estimates that a star explodes roughly every 10 seconds somewhere in the universe. The way a star dies depends partly on its mass. Our sun, for instance, doesn't have enough mass to explode as a supernova. However, if a star has the right amount of mass, it can burn out in a fiery explosion. Hey spacers, before Betelgeuse blows, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. 
And now, back to Betelgeuse. NASA, using data from the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, found that Betelgeuse experienced a significant event in 2019. It lost a large part of its visible surface and released a massive amount of material, called a surface mass ejection. These observations provide insights into how aging red stars lose mass before eventually exploding as supernovae a process related to their dying nuclear fusion. Despite this event, scientists believe Betelgeuse's behavior doesn't necessarily mean that an explosion is certain just yet. Researchers are actively studying data from various sources to understand the star's behavior before, during, and after this eruption. This occurrence is unprecedented. Scientists have never witnessed such a massive mass ejection on a star's surface. It's like observing stellar evolution happening in real time. The colossal outburst in 2019 might have been caused by a large convective plume over a million miles wide, rising from deep within the star. The event in 2019 caused Betelgeuse to experience shocks and pulsations, leading to the expulsion of a chunk from its photosphere the visible surface of the star. This left Betelgeuse with a large cool area under the dust cloud formed by the cooling piece. The ejected piece, weighing several times as much as our moon, traveled into space and cooled to create a dust cloud, blocking light from the star when observed from Earth. This dimming, which started in late 2019 and lasted for a few months, was easily noticeable to backyard observers witnessing the star's changing brightness. Unlike our sun, which has smaller coronal mass ejections blowing off bits of its outer atmosphere, astronomers had never seen such a significant portion of a star's visible surface being blasted into space. This suggests that surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections might be distinct events. Betelgeuse has grown so large that if it were at the center of our solar system instead of the sun, its outer surface would stretch beyond Jupiter's orbit. Betelgeuse is so big that if you were to place it in our own solar system, it would stretch to the orbit of Jupiter. It is approximately 950 times larger than our sun, making it one of the biggest stars known to us. However, like all stars, it has a limited lifespan, and Betelgeuse is no exception. It's essentially a ticking time bomb ready to go off, but the exact timing remains uncertain. Imagine if today were the day Betelgeuse exploded. How would Earth be affected, and what would be the impact on our universe? Betelgeuse is relatively close to us, only 650 light-years away, making it a favorite among both professional and amateur astronomers. If Betelgeuse were to explode, we would witness an incredibly bright light in the sky, possibly visible even during the day. At night, it could be bright enough to rival a full moon. This spectacular display would last for a considerable time because the light from the star has to travel 650 light years across the universe to reach us here on Earth. The explosion of Betelgeuse will undoubtedly be a breathtaking spectacle. But luckily for us, it won't impact life on Earth, apart from the impressive light show in the night sky. We're about 10 times too far away from Betelgeuse to feel any consequences from the explosion. However, if we were closer, it would be a different and catastrophic story. If Betelgeuse were to explode nearby, our atmosphere and cells would be fried by the intense radiation and gamma waves. High doses of radiation can burn and scar the skin, cause genetic mutations, and even be lethal. Gamma radiation, being incredibly powerful, is even more intense than light itself. In a scenario where Betelgeuse was closer to Earth, it would mean the end for all life on our planet. Humans, animals, plants, everything would be destroyed almost instantly once the radiation reached us. Even though the process of going supernova takes years, even if we had interplanetary ships to evacuate, 
Betelgeuse is so massive that there wouldn't be a safe planet in our solar system. Fortunately, we are currently at a safe distance from Betelgeuse and its explosion won't have any direct, observable or harmful effects on us. Hey Spacers, scientists estimate that Betelgeuse will explode, but it's likely to happen in another 100,000 years. When it does occur, astronomers will have to reconsider the structure of the Orion constellation. Do you think humanity will still be around by the time the sun goes supernova? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.